So to add and edit properties with the house plugin, uh, here's what you do. So you log into the website, you go to where it says real estate. If you go to properties, you can see all the properties in here. Uh, a few quick actions in here, you can actually, uh, the only one useful here would be duplicate. Uh, so if you wanna, let me show you how to edit a current one. Uh, you've got all the information in here. And then if you scroll down below, you'll see a lot of information, but the only parts that are actually being used is the map, enter the address for it, and the media, enter the photos in here. And then um, you, you set the type of property that it is, if it's there. And then the status is the biggest one. Uh, this is what's going to add the ribbon and display the property automatically in the right category. So under contract is pending. And then the other one's active is for sale. And for rent is for rent. And sold is sold. So if you need to edit, like for example, for sale, it has now been sold. Uh, you would simply go into here and change it from for sale, uh, remove the sold. Or I mean, remove the for sale and add the sold in there. And uh, make sure that you also, let me see, uh, preferably add a featured image on these properties as well. Um, actually, no, don't don't add one. Just add them, add, add the media here, in the media tab, and then right over here, it goes. It has all the information. So to add a new one, I would, you just click on the add new property, and same thing. You add the title, add the property information in there. Uh, if you scroll down, all you need to enter is the map, enter the address of the property, and add the photos here in media. And then remember to set the status of the property to what it is, like if it's for rent, for sale, pending, or sold. And that's what's going to show it in the right category on the website. Let me know if you have any questions.